हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी वन नाइट स्टडी चैनल फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिज़ाइन ऑफ कनेक्टिंग रोड डिज़ाइन ऑफ कनेक्टिंग रोड इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द इंटरनल कम्बेशन इंजन पार्ट्स सो बेसिकली देर आर थ्री पार्ट्स व्हिच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द डिज़ाइन ऑफ इंटरनल कम्बेशन इंजन पार्ट्स सो दीज आर पार्ट्स फर्स्ट वन इज द पिस्टन सेकेंड कनेक्टिंग रोड एंड द क्रैंक आउट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव discuss about the piston design of the piston and today we we are going to discuss about the design of the connecting rod we will discuss here the whole procedure of the design of the connecting rod and now onwards in the next video we will discuss about the design of the crank shaft so basically friends this is the a uh, block diagram of the connecting rod so the connecting rod it is the intermediate member between piston and the crank shaft friends the connecting rod is a intermediate member because it is connected to the one side from the piston and the other side from the crank shaft so in this diagram we see that the piston is divided mainly in three parts the first one is small end the second one is shank and the third one is big end so from the small end here it is connected from the piston by the piston pin and the bush is provided which is of made of bronze so bronze bush is provided on this side and then it is connected to the piston and the other side is called as big end side and in this side it is connected to the crank shaft by the crank pin and this side this length from this to the this this is called shank shank of the connecting rod so this is the these are some important parts of the connecting rod. so friends now we will discuss that what is the work of a connecting rod so basically it is converts the reciprocating motion of piston into rotary motion of the crank shaft kya hota hai ki basically the piston moves here in the reciprocating moment here okay so it converts the moment of the piston into the rotary motion of the crank shaft now we will discuss about the big end of the connecting rod so the big end of the connecting rod it is splitted into two parts okay in the first part here the two bolts which is called castal bolts are provided and in the other half one it is connected to the connecting rod so this is the whole uh, diagram of the connecting rod now we will see the design procedure of the connecting rod so friends now we will discuss about the design procedure of the connecting rod so in the designing of the connecting rod these are four steps are very important so following dimensions are required to be determined so the first one is cross section of the connecting rod and the second one is crank pin at the big end and piston pin at the small end size of the bolts for securing the big end cap and the last one is thickness of the big end cap so the first one is the cross section of the connecting rod so as we have earlier discussed that that the cross section of the connecting rod is may be rectangular circular or h section so here we will use the h section type of the connecting rod and the h section type of the connecting rod looks like this the cross section area of the h section type of the connecting rod looks like this so in the designing of the cross section of the connecting rod we have to determine the most important thing is buckling load okay actually here the two things are very important buckling load and the rankine formula rankine formula is used to determine the buckling load and its formula is wb equals to sigma c dot a upon me 1 plus a capital l upon me radius of gyration ka whole square and here this sigma c equals to compressive yield stress a equals to cross section area l equals to the length of the connecting rod k equals to radius of the gyration and the a is constant which is which have the different different values for the different different material 
वन अपॉन में सेवन फाइव हंड्रेड फोर माइल स्टील वन अपॉन नाइन थाउजेंड फोर रोड आयरन एंड वन अपॉन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड फोर कास्ट आयरन सो दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन व्यू ऑफ द कनेक्टिंग रोड दिस इज द एच चाइट एच टाइप ऑफ द क्रॉस सेक्शन व्यू ऑफ द कनेक्टिंग रोड एंड दिस इज आवर कनेक्टिंग रोड द बकलिंग रोड डब्ल्यू बी इज एक्टिंग इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द मूवमेंट ऑफ द कनेक्टिंग रोड आवर कनेक्टिंग रोड मूव इन दिस डायरेक्शन ओके इट रेसिप्रोक्स रेसिप्रोकेट्स इन दिस दिस डायरेक्शन एंड द बकलिंग लॉग एक्ट्स इन दिस दिस डायरेक्शन सो इन द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द एच टाइप ऑफ द कनेक्टिंग रोड वी सी दैट दिस इज द विथ ऑफ द क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड बी इक्वल्स टू द फोर टी टी इज द थिकनेस ऑफ द आवर क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड दिस इज द डेप्थ ऑफ द एच टाइप ऑफ द क्रॉस सेक्शन विच इज इक्वल्स टू द फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ द थिकनेस सो नाउ यूजिंग द रेंकाइन फॉर्मूला वी विल डिस फाइंड आउट द बकलिंग लोड about x axis and the y axis so about the x axis we use the rankine formula and it is sigma c dot a upon 1 plus a l upon me kx ka whole square as we have discussed earlier now for the x axis about x axis we will use l equals to the l so after putting l equals to the l we get sigma c dot a upon me 1 plus a small l kx ka Whole square, and now the buckling load about the y-axis. Here we will put capital L equals to the L small L by two. So after putting capital L is equals to small L by two, we get sigma c dot a upon me one plus a L upon me two k a y y ka whole square. Now we will find the moment of the inertia about x-axis and the y-axis. So this is the cross section view of the h type of the connecting rod and here we have discussed the uh, dimensions that width equals to four times of the thickness and the depth equals to five times of the thickness so moment of the inertia about x axis so here i axis equals to y upon my 12 4t this width into 5t cube minus 3t 3t cube bracket one so after solving this we get 419 upon me 12 t 4 and the moment of the inertia about y axis i y y equals to 1 upon me 12 2 into 1 upon me 12 t into 4 t cube plus 1 upon me 12 3 t t cube after solving this we get 131 upon me 12 t 4 so the ratio of the moment of the inertia about x axis to the y axis this one now when we will solve it so we get the value of this ratio is 3.2 approximate so what we get the moment of the inertia about i axis equals to the 3 or 3.5 of the i moment of the inertia of y axis so this relation is very important in the dimensions of the cross section of the connecting rod so we will use this thing by putting in the for, for the formula of the rankine to get the buckling load so now we will discuss the next dimension for the connecting rod so friends now we will find out the dimension of the crank pin at big end and the piston pin at small pin the crank pin is also known as gadget pin and the piston pin is also known as wrist pin so here the most uh, important thing which is to be remember that the maximum load carried by it by both pins is the maximum force okay and the maximum gas force which is fl it is carried out by this formula pi d square upon 4 multiply by p here the d equals to the cylinder bore uh, or cylinder diameter bore diameter in mm and the p equals to the maximum gas pressure which is in newton per mm square so we have given the maximum gas pressure in the equations okay it is it has some standard values so now the load on the crank pin okay which is given by the this formula projected area into the bearing pressure 
okay so projected area into bearing pressure and it is projected area is given by dc which is diameter of the crank pin and the lc which is the length of the crank pin okay and pp is the bearing pressure allowing bearing pressure so dc dot lc dot pbc now the load on the piston pin equals to the dp dot lp dot pbc which is same as the load on the crank pin okay here the lc for the load on the crank pin is given by lc equals to the 1.25 dc to 1.5 dc and the lp is given by 1.5 dp to 2 dp so in this way we will found some values now after finding these values we will equate the first equation to the second and again the first equation to the third so we will equate first equation equal to the second and the first equation equals to the third so by equating this equation we get the values of the dc lc and dp lp now the third one is size of bolts for securing big end cap here the thing which is to be remembered is bolts and cap are subjected to tensile force which corresponds to inertia force of reciprocating part and it is given by fi inertia force equals to mr dot omega square dot small r cos theta plus cos 2 theta upon me l upon me r here the mr is mass of reciprocating part in kg and omega is angular speed in radian per second r is the radius of the crank here the theta is the angle of inclination and it is theta equals to the zero now after putting theta equals to zero in this equation we get inertia force equals to the mr dot omega square dot r 1 plus r upon my l now the force on the bolts the force acting on the bolts is given by the formula pi upon my 4 dcb ka square into nb dot sigma t here the dcb is core diameter in meters nb equals to the number of the bolts and sigma t is allowable tensile stress now equating equation first and second by equating equation first and second we get f inertia force inertia equals to the pi by 4 dcb ka square sigma t dot nb so after equating this equation we get the value of the dcb okay and the nominal or the measure diameter of the bolt is given by this formula db equals to the dcb which is carried out by this formula and dcb upon my point at 4 now the last one is thickness of the big end cap it is denoted by the tc so here the two things important maximum bending moment acting on the cap okay it is given by the mc equals to the inertia force into x upon my 6 here the x which is the distance between the bolt center and it is equals to the diameter of crank or big end bearing dc plus 2 multiply by thickness of bearing which is given as 3 mm plus clearance 3 mm okay now the section modulus for the cap jc which is equals to the bc tc ka whole square upon my 6 so now the bending stress which is given by the mc upon my jc it is after putting the mc and the jc value we will get the tc okay tc means thickness of the big end cap so friends here we have discussed the whole procedure of the designing of the connecting rod we have discussed the four different steps or four important steps of the designing of the connecting rod if you have some queries or something else then please comment in the comment box and share this video with your friends and if you still have not subscribed our channel then please subscribe it thank you friends